Get ready to match the stars. Edward Asner. Brett Summer. Gary Burgoff. Marsha Rod. Richard Dawson. And Patty White. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Rivers. <laughs> I'm a clothes horse. Thank you. I, oh, oh, he got me right in the eye. Is everyone ready? Moby Dick. Shall we uh, dispense with the amenities? Uh, oh, yes, oh, last. Well, we say, come back, Charles Nelson Riley, whoever you are. Should we just say that and then right. press on? Okay. <laughs> Let's say hello to Terry Donath and Barbara Chrysler. Hi. How much money have you won? 5600 You've won 5600 What are you going to do with that money, Terry? I'm going to spend it. <laughs> Sensible fellow. <laughs> All right. And Barbara, you had your first round question. I blew it. And you blew it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they could have blown it. <laughs> they blew it? That's very charitable of you to say that. But you have another shot at it, and we'll see how this game progresses after these messages. <laughs> Ready. Here we go. Push a button with my magic finger, reveal the other... Round one question for Terry. This is all yours. The sculptor said, he said, for $10,000, I will carve your likeness out of marble. For $1.98, I'll carve your likeness out of blank. <laughs> for $1.98, your likeness out of blank. Hi, Ron. Hello there. Uh, uh, see your lining? Oh. What's that? Can we see your lining? Would you like to see my lining? Uh huh. Here's it. One look at the lining. Uh, boing! Woo. Let me see. Not your the lining, lining of your coat. You like I want to see your lining. Oh, uh, not the lining. Oh, my lining. Uh, <laughs> I mean, now you've thrown me off. I'll carve but your likeness. Yes. I'm just doing shit. Yes, yes, I know you are, sweetheart. I'll carve, I'll carve your, your likeness, likeness out of blank for a dollar ninety-eight. For no. Oh. Ten thousand okay. dollars, carve your likeness out of marble. Dollar ninety-eight, carve your likeness out of blank. Got it. Oh, my goodness, life is difficult. All right, here we go, Terry. What the sculptor said: for ten thousand dollars, I will carve your likeness out of marble. Now, for a dollar ninety-eight, I'll carve your likeness out of soap. Soap. Okay. <laughs> there were many choices here, Edward. Ain't it the truth? He chose soap. <laughs> You Valid. took another course, I take it. <laughs> from, 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 from you? From him. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I figured that if he didn't like it, he could eat it. So I made it out of peanut butter. Oh, that would be difficult. You'd have to keep it cold and refrigerated. But it would make an interesting sculpture, wouldn't we it? We do it, it at home all the oh, time. Oh, you do, yes. <laughs> It'd stick to the roof of your <laughs> body. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Oh, I don't know. I just wasn't too crazy about that question. And maybe this, I mean, I... Well, I <laughs> It's just too, life is too hard. I said, uh, car is likeness out of gum. That's dumb. <laughs> I couldn't think. Gum is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I just, oh, gum is dumb, right? Yes. Yeah. As Charles would say, for comedy relief, <laughs> silly putty. <laughs> okay. So we have gum and silly putty and all kinds oh, of things. What do you say? She well, says, uh, he says so. There's a wonderful M. Woody Allen joke where he carves the likeness of the deceased out of potato salad. <laughs> out of potato salad. A little inside there, but oh, so well, far. Well. Four different answers so far, Terry, you've gotten. I don't feel so bad now, about he's what? Now. Soap love, is what he wants, Richard. I'd love to hear that wonderful Woody Allen story. Do you know it? He's really going to give me trouble, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> I said son of silly putty. Silly putty. <laughs> silly putty. Now. A little soap for the man, huh? I'm all washed up. I said soap. <laughs> oh! <laughs> One for you. Look at that. Yeah, Barbara, we go to round two. I'll take B. Oh, B. Gotcha. Everybody plays. Okay. And no one matched the first round. What Harvey, you... everybody plays. I thought Betty matched. No, no. No, no, not the first round. Oh. Uh, uh, for Barbara. This is Barbara's question. I see. You see. I'll run the show, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right. Did I tell you how to edit the uh, TV show? No, no, no. Okay. Harvey the pickpocket doesn't use his hands. No, instead, he picks your pocket with his blank. I know the answer. Hmm. 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 Mm. The dumplings. Hmm. Mm. Starring Marsha Rod's ex-friend, Jimmy Coco. Oh, Jimmy Coco, right? Wonderful friend. Mary Tyler Moore show. Newberry. The Newberry <laughs> no. I gave it the office. Oh, uh. He's been promoted to manager, haven't you, Richard? Yes. <laughs> Mash and MTM. Okay, here we go. Terry, are ready? Oh, I beg your pardon, Barbara. This is yours. You don't want this question, do you? No. Harvey the pickpocket doesn't use his hands. Instead, he picks your pocket with his... Feet. Feet. All right, the opposite. I think if I were playing, I'd say feet. Uh, it's kind of a difficult question, but feet, the opposite of hands. What did you say? Have you looked at your feet lately? Well, I, I have very good dexterity... Uh, Mobility of oh, my I noticed toes. you in the trees the other night. Yes. That's true. <laughs> but uh, uh, being on the show is such a wonderful treat. You learn new words all the time. And earlier in the week, Brett introduced me to a new one. So I felt that the pickpocket would have picked the pocket with his... Wawa. Wawa. Yes. Yes. That's, that's not a match? <laughs> no. Oh. Because there is no such word. It's totally esoteric. Oh. Now, what do you say? I say... I made the reservation. Oh, good. I said we wouldn't be there later than 9.15. Okay. Is that all right with Helen? That's splendid. <laughs> okay. okay. It's, a, it's a wrap. I'm so disappointed in myself. I said teeth. Teeth. <laughs> That'd be more difficult than feet. Toes are tough. What do you say? It's the only man in the world with a known case of athlete's mouth. <laughs> I also said teeth. Teeth. So we have two teeth. Barbara's looking for the answer. He picks your pocket with his feet. What do you say? Surely feet and toes are the same. What do you say? There's one for Barbara. How does he operate? Tell us. I've got this great Woody Allen. Uh, well, I learned that. <laughs> I said teeth. I'm sorry. Barbara. Teeth. You sure okay. have a out. <laughs> and you. Well, see, the problem is, and I think it's probably the same with Brett. Uh, we haven't seen our feet since we were about 12. Oh. So I said teeth. <laughs> so, <laughs> Barbara, that's one for you. Now, at this moment, we have a tie score. When we come back from this commercial, Terry, you'll have your shot at it. All you have to do is match one celebrity to win. Now, let's see how this game turns out after this. <laughs> Just got some member of the audience. Got the whole row back there. All right. Where are we here? Middle of round two. All right. Now, it's up to you, Terry. Tie score. Uh, everyone except Betty White will participate, and all you have to do is match one to win. Here we go. Cindy said, last night, I went out with a policeman. As soon as we got to his apartment, he put me up against the wall and blanked me. <laughs> Was, there, was it now? Who, who was this? Uh, Sylvia? Cindy. Cindy. Last Thank night you. I went out with a policeman. As soon as we got to his apartment, he put me up against the wall and blanked me. All right. I got it. Okay, here we go. Terry. Cindy said last night I went out with a policeman. As soon as we got to his apartment, he put me up against the wall and blanked me. Frisk. Frisk. One is all we need to win the game. That's all he needs. One frisky policeman. This suspense is killing me! Frisk wins the game. What the rest of you have? Frisk, frisk, frisk. Okay. Congratulations, buddy. You did it again. Now, Terry, picked up another $100. You got $5,700. And we'll take a moment here. I have to untangle ourselves and say goodbye to... Barbara Chrysler, a real pleasure. I had a very you. nice time. Thank I you. Really Good did. luck to you Goodbye. and your husband in the medical profession. Barbara Chrysler, got many gifts for you. Bye.
to the school. You put her on the first school? Now, Terry, as I said, you got the 5,700, and you're going to have a go at another uh, five, over 5,000 here. And we'll begin, shall we? We polled a recent studio audience. We got their best response to this. Blank Fox. Now, the answer they gave most often, remember, is worth $500 if you match it. If you match that next one, you get 250 The bottom one gets you 100 Now, let's pick some celebrities here and get some responses. Richard Dawson. The well-known German peacemaker, the Desert Fox. The Desert Fox, Erwin okay. Rommel. That's right. Okay, there's one. Betty White. Well, it's not spelled like that, but I have a hunch they might say Red Fox. Okay. He's a double X fox, isn't he? It's, yes, Is he's he a, a he's double a, X fox. A redhead fox. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, right. Edward. Oh well, I would also think that there would say some people that would remember Brer Fox. Brer Fox. Brer In the Briar fox. Patch. Yes, I remember. Who Ed. was Brer Fox? Brer Fox. He was at was Uncle Remus's. What's that? This is Wiggins' One of cabbage Uncle Remus's patch. friends. I thought that Mrs. was Mrs. Wiggs' cabbage patch. Wiggly. Mrs. Wiggly? Really? Well, whatever it was. Fox, Br anyway, we got Br 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 Fox, Br 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 Desert Fox, and Red Fox. Now, you can choose one of those if you want, or give us one of your own. Red Fox. Red Fox is the one we're looking for. Let's find out if Red Fox is up there. Red Fox, you rascal, are you under the $100 response? That's what I was going to say. Who would say that? I was going to say that. You were going to say that? That's right. That's my studio. Yourself. Tree Fox. It's also okay. Funny. All right. It didn't even touch <laughs> my mind. Who's going to say MGM Fox? What we want is Red Fox. Let's see if it's under the $250 response. Sly. Sly is a oh, Sly. 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 Sly in the family stone. Yes, yeah, Sly in the family stone. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Now, Red Fox, you rascal. Reveal yourself. Yeah. Okay, buddy, you did it again. Now you got 6,200. Remember, when you win the 500, that means you play for 10 times that amount, or 5,000. Now, to collect, you got to match one. Time to choose one. Which one will it be? Betty White. Okay, oh, Betty White. Terry. She's all right. not a young woman, you know. I twice know. in a row. It's not a well one. For her. Well, all right. Well, you had good luck with Red Fox with her. Just swing around here toward me a little bit. Fine, thank you. And here we go. This is worth $5,000. Concentrate now on Betty White and what she's thinking about. Blank truth. T-R-U-T-H. Blank truth. All right, Terry, she's finished. Now we call on you for an answer which you think will match hers. What do you say to that blank truth? To tell the truth. To tell the truth. That's another famous uh, Goodson Totman show. I was just uh, on it a couple of weeks ago and had a usual good time. Let's see if your ESP is correct with Betty. He says to tell the truth will match her for 5,000. And I was brainwashed by Goodson Todman all my life. In God's truth, I said to tell the truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got eleven thousand two hundred dollars. Very happy. Good. And while he's being very happy about his eleven thousand two hundred, we hope you'll be happy with these messages. Today's Constellation prizes are Hager Double Hitch Slacks in temporary styling with a comfortable fit. They're machine washable in a wide range of beautiful colors and patterns. Hager Double Hitch Slacks. And a crystal candy dish and Sophie made peanut brittle, the good old-fashioned favorite. You can still buy it for just peanuts. And Nesco's Potlock Six Quart Slow Cooker, a real energy saver for slow or fast cooking by Nesco, a division of the Hoover Company. Well, soon it'll be Valentine's Day. Are you going to give your wife a blank? Maybe Gene Rayburn will give you an idea when Match Game 76 returns in one minute. <laughs> ready. Ready. Are you ready for Melinda Potter? Hey. Hey. Hello, Melinda Potter. How are you? Where are you from? Ludos, New Mexico. Uh-huh. And uh, are you married? 
I've been married 10 years and have a five-year-old son named Chad. That worked out okay, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. I was in the water. Underwater? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, now this lady was on once before. She may look I familiar to you. Look familiar. Yeah. And uh, there was a possibility that there might have been some little irregularity. And just to be fair to her, uh, we said, well, heck, let's bring her back. Have another shot at her. So here she is. Good luck, Melinda. As a challenger, you have a choice here. B, please. B, here Jane, we go. did you give her that old dodge about I can get you back on the show? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, absolutely not. He was not. the irregularity. No, <laughs> and not the little one either. Now listen to this. Mr. and Mrs. Murphy love dogs so much, they named their new son Blank. <laughs> they love dogs. Named so their new much. son Blank. So much. Right. So much. They really loved dogs. Very good. Thank you. Right. I catch on. It takes oh, about three right, years. Melinda Potter. Did you listen to that? I'll do it one more time. Mr. and Mrs. Murphy love dogs so much they named their new son Blank. What do you say? Rover. Rover is good. Sure. She has given the traditional dog's name that we all remember from our childhood, Rover the dog. Spot the dog, see Rover run, see Spot run. What do you say? You want me to write one of those down? No. Oh. You were supposed to have written one down, similar to that. Rover, hopefully, according to Melinda. Is, is everything all right at home? Yes, everything's just fine. Uh, uh, I thought that, uh, I, well, uh, the, the son could easily have been called one of the names you Spot. suggested. Spot! Very good. Very good answer. Rover and Spot are two good choices. Brett, give us another good choice. Did you say everything was all right at home? Mm-hmm. You told me your wife didn't understand you. No, I never said that. I never said that. <laughs> I said, Lassie, La I'm sorry. Now I listen, that... Boy, it's a boy. I was going to say Betty. Listen but I... to me. Their new son. Lassie was a boy, dog. She passed herself off as a girl. She's right. Now, she's right. She's right. Yes, but Lassie is the girl's name, isn't it? I know. Lassie is a dog's what name. What do you Who say? Who was a male? Don't get me involved. Okay. <laughs> Lassie was a... I love show <laughs> <laughs> My life. Come on, Gary. Give us your answer. Hey, he's about time get us one, out of, one of his matches with her. I what? said Rover. Rover. There you go. Now, Marsha, it's up to you. Give us your dog. Oh, it's another popular name. Fido. Fido would be another. Fido, Spot, Rover. All good choice. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Murphy loved dogs so much they named their new son Rover, according to Melinda Potter. I was going to say Alpo. Alpo. <laughs> I said Rover. Rover. She's doing very well. That's two for her. I thought I had the obvious answer. I had champion Belmont's Rambling Rose out of Thorny Buck, but it didn't. You know, nobody else said it. Spot. Spot. Okay. So that's two for you, which is not bad at all for a first rounder, is it there, Terry? Oh, no. Okay. Here's Terry's first rounder. Uh -huh. At the wedding, the groom didn't have a car, so the okay. guests painted just married on his blank. <laughs> Groom didn't have a car, so the guest they painted just married on his blank. That woman should have left him. What do you mean he didn't have a car? Didn't have a car. What'd she marry him for in the first place? Well, I How don't know. How did get about? It. Tell us about it on that the blue card you've got there. Boy, is it the painted has. just married on what? <laughs> on his blank. Oh, yeah, of course. All right. Oh. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, everybody ready? Hello, Terry. At the wedding, the groom didn't have a car, so the guests painted just married on his buttocks. <laughs> Pants of the buttocks, that's what I mean. The, the buttocks is a small animal no, 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 found in not. South America. No, no, no. He says it like it's two the, words. Yeah, buttocks. Well, he didn't want us to misunderstand him. He said buttocks. Uh, what, what does that mean? That means 
on his pants across the back of his bottom there. You know, that is, was the best man's name, Is that the... That, but... Is that the, is that the same place as the Tushi? That's the same place. That's very good. Thank you. Very offense answer. But you got kind of an answer there. This could be a man. <laughs> Let's see. No, it's not a man. Right does not match. Right does not match. Gary? You should the ones you had before this was Jaja Gabor's sisters. Oh, right? that's terrific. No, uh, well, I, I, maybe I, we may have to have a conference here. He didn't have a car, right? Right. So he couldn't tie anything to it. So I said they painted on his cans. No. no. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no match there. Now you, Marsha. Well, Show I and tell. think that I think would you buy tails? As no, a, no, oh. no match there. And Richard says. A daddy air. Daddy air with a good picture there. Another match. And Betty. Daddy air. Daddy air. Very good. There's another one. So at this moment, middle round one, three to two. Now this message for you. <laughs> Hello there. Time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. 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 It's been splendid. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. And we'll see you next time, too. You will all show up. Where? Here. Oh, are we same place. Show up and show off. Are we uh, on? Did you finish my car yet? No, your oh. car will be ready next Thursday. Oh, We're going to do a wall job. But the transmission yes. will be ready for us. Say bye bye. Yeah. Say bye bye for Match Game bye 36. Bye. Join us next time. Bye. Goodbye. Dumplings, Mary Tyler Moore. And Max. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 76. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of the CBS stations.